Hello, people spacing as watch my show. My name is Just Time. Welcome back to another episode of Nerd Out. Uh, we're at, not staying in front of the usual setup because I'm gonna have to do some reorganizing of it because I got a new Star Wars figure for it, as well as I bought something for my brother that I'm gonna unbox here and put in his room because he likes the game. I'm a fan of the game too. I'm just not as a big a fan as him. And I got and my girlfriend got me something while we were shopping. So start off with what I got at GameStop. They sell these a lot. They have like a lot of them. I got Snoke, and as you can see, I already unboxed it in the van or on my way back. I went with my mom and my brother and all that with friends. And then the other ones, I gotta open up the one I got Jacob still. But I cut the tape of this. This is what uh, my girlfriend got me. And apparently, it lights up too. I don't know if she knew that. And then finally, I was gonna get this and rub it in my brother's face, but I decided to just get it for him. It is this Laura Croft Tomb Raider statue I guess you could say so I'm going to unbox all of these and we'll get right to to the reviews of them so first of all I'm gonna just take Snoke out cuz I've already unboxed him essentially I might get some b-roll of him actually set up I'll be holding him mostly so he'll be moving around on this little stool here it is part of the 6 inch series, if you couldn't tell from the size of the box, and it's pretty accurate. Ugh, I hate my chair. I think I might, might save up for that PewDiePie chair. You know, $3.99. I don't know why I did that voice inflection. We got Snoke and his throne. Uh, I think I figured out that this is how I want to pose him with his hand kind of just draped like that, and his other hand draped. He's just kind of chilling, chilling in his throne. He doesn't, he sits in his throne without a rubber band, but I put it there just just in case. He's got the same articulation as other six inch figures. I don't know how well you can tell on the webcam because I'm doing this on my desk but he's he's really detailed. The webcam doesn't pick it up that well but it's very detailed. The whole throne is detailed and it's, it's very nice. I really like it. And now all I need is the is a Kylo Ren unmasked and then I can recreate the scene from Last Jedi. Uh, next up, I'm just gonna open up this bad boy. Ugh. Pixel Pals USB adapter. Okay. So out from his plastic prison comes Flash. Hey, the fla it's the Flash. Ooh, it does it does have battery compartments for it. So, I guess we'll see what kind of batteries he needs. Oh, double it. Hey, triple A's. I got some triple A's. I got some rechargeable triple A's too. There we go. Now we turn it. So, before I turn it on, this is what it looks like. It's a little pixel, pixel art of Flash. And then when we turn it on. Ooh, the camera can't pick it up because it's very, but he's pretty bright. It looks, it looks really cool. The, I, I'm sad that the camera just picks it up as a bright white light, but he looks like that, but lit up. Uh, I might try and get a picture of it without him too, uh, bright. It's really, it's really cool. Now I'm, now I'm really happy that Ali got me that. Now finally, we have Laura Croft. Now I called my brother and he's like, no, don't unbox it. But I told him I was going to unbox it anyways. Because I want, want him to. Now some of you might be yelling at me going, why are you unboxing it? Well, because I know he's going to unbox it anyways. He's covered in twist ties. Nice. Oh, I'm hitting the mic. I'm, I'm sorry about that. So, what I'm getting out first is essentially just some of the accessories. Got free her tape as well. First, gotta get to the, her boots. Her boots are zip tied. I'm gonna quickly time lapse it so you don't have to see it in real time with me unboxing her. So. Here we go, starting now.
I guess uh, right now while I'm doing that, so you guys aren't just seeing time lapses, I'm going to go over just some of the stuff that I've noticed. The uh, lower Croft figure, when you feel like the arm and the like the face and all that, all the textures on the like the clothing and the guns and the boots. But I should say there's not that much texture, whereas like this shotgun has has like a rough texture to it. That that's so far one of the things. Sometimes twist ties are hard for me because I can't because sometimes I can't tell which way they're they're twisting. I just don't want to damage it because that, because this is I did buy it, but this is my brother's, so I don't want to damage the box. Cause I know he'll want to keep the box. He'll take it out of the box, but he'll keep the box, kind of like me. Like the Vader that I have on my shelf that I have a uh, carded and uncarded. I still have the box for the uncarded, like both boxes, both the big 40th anniversary collection box and the vintage collection card back box that it came. With. And if you notice, I'm looking over here because I have my face cam here, so I'm just making sure that I can, uh, that I'm still in frame. The same face cam I use for my, uh, let's plays. Alright, now I can finally put Laura on the stand. Uh, not worry about her falling over. Okay. kind of a shitty pose that I have her in, but it works right now. Okay, so another accessory she comes with, but it looks like it's kind of broken and stupid, but it's kind of stupid because it does spin. I don't know if that was caused by me. Doesn't look like it. I had to push it back into place, but now it doesn't spin. But it's a, a grenade launcher. So you can launch grenades. I don't see my brother displaying it with the grenade launcher, but I can see him displaying it with either the shotgun or her pistols that she comes with. Or the next item that's in here, if I can get it out. Hold on. Here, let me get it out, I should say. But I forgot, I, I can edit this. You know how to edit, Justin. She comes with this ancient relic sword. I don't, I don't know. This might be from a game. I haven't really played any of the games except the 2012 or 2013. I think it was a reboot. I forgot what year it came out, but the reboot of the series. But so I got all the stuff out. Now we'll look at Laura herself. I'll just let my brother. So apparently, Laura comes. Laura Croft can. Uh, I took the stand. Was taken off. So, Laura Croft uh, has uh, holsters on the on her legs, so you can put her pistols in, so that she's not carrying around. She's got a little, like, I say, ball joint. I'm guessing at the head, and she's got hinged arms, and then it feels like her legs are a little. A little loose, so I'm gonna let my brother know as well. Oh, uh, it looks it looks great. It don't I don't remember ever seeing Laura Croft look like this in the Tomb Raider series. Then again, I've only played one game. She's got peg holes on different parts of her feet, so you could have her have her pegged like that, or I'm guessing like this. The stand is just a black stand, and the peg goes farther in, but. That's how far I have it right now. I honestly don't know why she's standing weird, so weirdly, so I'm gonna put her on the other. Uh, if I can. I'm not even gonna remove it. The guns are extremely detailed. Her belt has a lot of uh, grenades. That's essentially what everyone's looking at in the comments. I can see that! She comes, she comes with a nice backpack. Uh, I'll let my brother remove that. This, it says. It says on it, pull out when turn switch on. So I'm guessing you just pull out. Jeez, this sand sucks. Anyways, 
It's a nice figure. I'm going to put this in my brother's room now. I'm going to wrap up this episode of Nerd Out. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nerd Out. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Become a time traveler today to stay up to date with Nerd Out and other stuff on the channel. Until next video, I'll see you in the future. Bye, guys.